given question a steel bar is placed between two copper bars each having same area and are rigidly connected together at both the ends when the temperature is increased by 100 degree celsius find the stresses developed in the bars in this question two copper bars and one steel bar are rigidly connected at their ends and the temperature increased by 100 degree celsius we have to find out the stresses developed in copper as well as steel if we observe the value of coefficient of linear expansion for copper and steel then value of alpha for copper is more than value of alpha for steel so we have to show more extension for copper bar than the steel we will first show the free expansion in copper as well as steel when the temperature is increased by 100 degree celsius so first we will show the extension in copper there are two copper bars so we have to show the same extension for the copper bars then we have to show the extension in steel when the temperature is increased by 100 degree celsius so here is the extension in steel now the condition is given that the ends of these bars are rigidly connected that means there is common extension for this combination of the bars so we will show here the common expansion so this is the common expansion occurs in this combination now what is happening so as the temperature is getting increased by 100 degree celsius that time the steel material applies compressive force on this copper material and we will show the compressive force p on this copper material and therefore there is decrease in length so if we observe here is the thermal expansion but actual expansion is up to this blue length i have shown now at in the same way when the temperature is increased by 100 degree celsius this copper material will apply the tensile force on steel material and therefore the increase in length from this point up to this point so we will show the tensile force p on the steel material if we observe this compressive force and tensile force both are having same magnitude but opposite in direction a cross sectional area for this copper as well as steel bar is same that is area of steel bar is equal to area of copper bar is equal to a that is mentioned in the question to find out stresses we will prepare one table so in the first we have to show the thermal expansion so when the change there is increase in temperature so we have to show the thermal expansion for copper as well as for steel so we have formula for the thermal expansion that is coefficient of linear expansion multiplied by increase in temperature multiplied by original length so in this case original length for all these three bars is same so we will use the letter l so for copper we will show alpha c t l and for steel alpha s t l now the next we have to write change in length due to mechanical force p now if we observe for the copper material so we have to show the change in length so due to this p there is change in length from this point up to this point so we have to write the formula for this change in length delta l so how to write so we have formula we have young's modulus e is equal to stress sigma divided by strain so strain we will write as a delta l divided by l now we how to write the formula for delta l therefore delta l is equal to sigma l divided by e 
Now for copper we will write sigma Cl divided by Ec. For steel material also there is change in length due to this tensile force P. So how to show? So initially the steel is getting expanded due to increase in temperature up to this point. But due to this tensile force it is increased up to this point. So we have to show this increase in length delta L in steel material. So how to write the formula here? That is sigma S divide, multiplied by L. Sigma S multiplied by L divided by E S. Now if we observe this diagram then the final expansion in copper and steel bar is same. So we will write here final expansion in copper is equal to final expansion in steel. So with reference to this diagram we will write its values. So how to find out final expansion in copper that is from this point to this point. So if we observe we have to first take this thermal expansion minus change in length due to this P. So we will write here. So here is the table. So for copper thermal expansion is alpha C T L minus sigma C L by E C is equal to. Now final expansion in steel. So this is the change in length due to thermal expansion. That is thermal expansion plus Delta L due to P. So here is the delta L due to P and here is the formula. So we will write alpha S T L plus sigma S L by E S. Now if we observe in this diagram there are two copper bars and there is only one steel bar. And the area is mentioned is equal for this copper bar as well as steel bar. If we observe this compressive force is equal to tensile force. So how we can define this force? So we have formula that is stress is equal to P by A. So this stress sigma term will depend on this cross sectional area. So we will write here therefore P is equal to sigma A. Now this P is same for copper material as well as steel material. So how we can write this? P is equal to sigma C A C is equal to sigma S A S. So we will write here this is for copper and this is for steel and this P is equal for both the bars. Now if we observe AC that is area of copper there are two copper bars that is A plus A 2A so therefore we will write sigma C multiplied by 2A is equal to sigma S area of steel bar that is A A now this AA is getting cancelled on both the sides so we will write here twice of sigma C is equal to sigma S so this is the relation we will put in the in this equation so we can put sigma s is equal to twice of sigma c and if we observe l is the common term so we will take the common on both the sides and we will cancel this we will write alpha c t minus sigma c by e c is equal to alpha s t plus sigma s by e s now we will take this alpha term to the left hand side and we will transfer this sigma term to the right hand side. At the same time we know that sigma s is equal to twice of sigma c. So we will put here twice of sigma c. And the value of E s and E c is mentioned in the question in giga newton per meter square. But standard unit is newton per meter square. So we will multiply these terms with 10 raised to 9. So when we solve this then we will get the different denominator that is 100 into 10 raised to 9 and 200 into 10 raised to 9. So we will multiply and divide here with 2 by 2. So this common denominator 200 into 10 raised to 9 we will transfer to the left hand side and we will put the values that is 18 minus 12 10 raised to minus 6 as a common term multiplied by change in temperature is 100 degree Celsius and then here 2 sigma c plus 2 sigma c that is 4 sigma c 
and therefore sigma c is equal to 30 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square. So how to calculate sigma s? So here is the relation twice of sigma c that is 60 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square.